Ah, yes. What is our current objective? Uh, Ushijima-san's place on Kumano Boulevard. Okay. I feel like I need to do a recap for myself of what happened at the end of the last stream. But I have a feeling that once we get back into it, it won't be so bad. Was there anything else I was doing? All my sub-stories are done? Okay. Side story's done. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very mysterious. Yeah, we've got Takasugi with us right now. All right, let's just go see. Oh, I should, why do I have this stuff on me? I should drop this off and then let's go see what we can see. Although maybe carrying, I, I seem to take a lot of damage. So maybe bringing along some, one of these and, uh, that's it? This is all I have? I guess. I guess that actually makes sense, because I don't think I've done... Oh, just came on one of those. That should be... That should be enough for any trouble I get into. We should be fine. The oh, wait. Wait! I saved up here for a reason! I remember now. I was gonna go do training. <laughs> I was gonna go get my... I was gonna go do my training with my master. With my combat master. What's up, dude? Well. Oh. Don't sigh at me, I just sighed at you. Get out of here. Well, that means that even though they introduced that character, they did not expect you to be able to do the training because I'm pretty sure they introduced that character while I had an escort who... Eh, he'll catch up. He probably waited for the light and didn't just run in front of traffic like a weirdo. Get here any second. There you go. Yeah, I know. It's a bit of a long run, wasn't it? Can't read that game. I can't read that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
シナダに金貸し取るあんまり評判のようない氷菓子さんっていうのはどういうふうに聞いてるか知らないがこれでも結構客からは慕われてるけどねま俺としては払ってくれるんだったら誰でもお客様だ How much is it? I hope they say how much it is. What do you mean? I don't know. 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 I d o n 名古屋界隈のことについてなんだけどおお珍しいなあんたがそんなこと聞いてくるなんてちょっと仕事で風俗以外の記事を書かなくちゃならなくなってねそれで聞いてんだこの辺りっていうのは15年前と比べて何か変化したこととかあるのか例えばそうあの名古屋組っていうのをできたのもその頃だって聞いてるんだがなんだあんたら名古屋組について探っとんのかなら何にも話せんわどうして俺らは名古屋組に恩義を感じとるんだ恩義ってどういうこと15年前それまでの金栄町はひってえもんだった本日町通りを境目に東上会大見連合が島争いしとってな裏じゃその飛ばちりを受けて揉め事や抗争が後を絶たず治安も相当悪かった今はこんな平和なのに当時野球賭博の利権を握っとったのが東上会と近江連合でよまあ賭博の利権に限らず東と西の勢力図のちょうど真ん中にあたるこの辺で勢力がぶつかり合う形になっとったんだほんでもある事件がきっかけとなって2つの組は名古屋から出てってまった15年前のワイバーンズ野球賭博の一件だ覚えとらんかあああああれかま俺はろくにスポーツも見いせんから事件の内容はよう知らんけどその事件で野球賭博への警察の監視が強まりそれぞれの胴元をやっとった登場会と近江連合が名古屋から撤退することになった登場会と近江連合と入れ替わりでこの辺を取り仕切るようになったのはその名古屋組だわこの辺が名古屋組の島になってから15年極道には変わらんだろうがそれ以来構想も見かじめもなくなって不名誉な事件が起こった事実と引き換えにみんなそれなりに満足した毎日を過ごしとるんだ名古屋のための犠牲点と点が結ばれてきたなあんた名古屋組のボスって男に心当たりはないのかあんたら何のためにそんなことを調べとるか知らんけどいい加減にしとけボスが誰かなんて知らん誰だろうと興味ねえわこの町の裏側を名古屋組が守ってくれてるこの町で商売する人間にとったらそれだけで十分なんだわうんたっちゃん頼むわ助けて弟が無理やり連れてかれてまったわ、oh、God. 鳥山さんが誰に分からんけど男の一人はほっぺたに傷があった今後を追って名前の62番倉庫近くまで来とるんだけど、oh, no. <笑>ミルクちゃん Well? たかさきさん俺ちょっと行ってくるお前が行くっつんだったら俺も行くしかねえじゃないか高杉さん<笑>じゃあ牛島さんまた何かあったら聞かせてああそうそうこのコーヒーはつけじゃなくていいよね<笑>あ
Okay. Catch a cab to Warehouse 62 Dockside. What did he get himself into? I don't think he got himself into anything. I think they're just trying to get revenge for the damage that was done to a certain person's face. Alright, the closest cab is... Not that close, but probably this one right over here. Oh no. No son, what's he want now? Let's find out. Sorry, you no son, but we're a little busy here. Shinada, get out while you still can. No son, what's wrong? These bastards showed up and Oh no. Something is bad. Something bad is happening to everybody we know. Hey, what are you doing on the phone? We have to hurry. It's Uno-san. He's in trouble. We have to check on him first. You shitting me? Okay. Uh, uh. Unosan? Shikari! Shikari se, Unosan! Ore ga kyuki sha yobu. Shinada, omae wa hayaku nakama no tokoro ike. Yeah, but what the hell happened? Ato de ore mo iku kara, sore made shinun ja ne zo. Bai! Hmm. All right, find a cab to, yep, okay. Well. It feels like maybe time that we didn't, oh, and a sub story popped in. Oh, and I can do training now. So we have to hurry, but I could get my combat training done. And a sub story popped in. Perfect timing. Oh, wow, he actually chased me down. Assholes. I'm here for training. You. <laughs> there you are, peasant. Ah, uh, this guy. I forgot how much he is a joke. You mind not calling me that? The name's Tatsuo Shinada, just in case you're interested. Tatsuo Shinada, tis a peasant's name by my noble reckoning. Well, I have to admit it's pretty average compared to yours. That you present yourself to me can mean only one thing. You wish to take lessons from me. Well, yeah, I thought I might check it out. But are your lessons really all that? 
Hearken to me, Shinada. You cannot judge me based on what you e'er beheld. The skills I shall teach you are more precious than life itself. Of course, there is the matter of feudal service. I, I shan't lift a finger to help those who do not serve me. Maybe you forgot, but I saved you from those street punks. And that is why I deigned to take you as my student. And so the debt is paid. Seriously? For a guy who talks about nobility, that seems awfully stingy. You serve me once, and I shall repay you in kind. Once. I must keep things fair for my other vassals, after all. Okay, so what does the guy have to do to get some training around here? Anything's fine. I'm sure you can think of something despite your addled peasant brain. Sheesh, you could at least narrow it down a bit. Okay, let me think. I'm pretty broke, so anything to do with money is out of the question. Oh, I know. Very well, speak. Man, could you be any more of an ass? Anyway, I've got some advice I can give you. You advise me? Don't be ridiculous. I don't take advice from peasants. Besides, my considerable prosperity could hardly be bolstered by your input. So you say, but you want a girlfriend, don't you? No, I do not. Oh, come on. This is just between the two of us. You really want one, right? Well? It, yes, and Mother's been pestering me about getting married, so perhaps... See? I knew it. Just relax and trust me, and I'll set you up. Hmm. Somehow I feel as though you have tricked me into revealing this. You told me the truth, Leo Kuhn. That was the right thing to do. Do not press your luck, you of lowly birth. But very well. I shall acquiesce. But you must make yourself useful to in, in your faithful service to me. There will be no lesson until I am utterly satisfied. Oh, you will be. Especially considering the bar is so low. What was that? You think to mock me? Of course not. Now will you relax already? Fine. I'll take you at your word. Great. So the deal is, you give me a lesson if you like the advice I give you. Very well. I'm counting on you, Shinona. Do not disappoint me. Let's talk about your life. Okay, I'll give you some advice about your life. Must you be so immodest about it? Ugh, go on. Before I help you get a girlfriend, I need to know all about you. I'm going to ask you a few questions. All you have to do is answer. Very well, go on. Okay, let me ask you this. Hmm. What would you consider a relationship deal breaker? Speaking to any man other than me, naturally, it would be utter, utterly inexcusable. Isn't that a pretty high bar to set? Ah, such an ignorant peasant. You obviously don't understand the importance of protecting my noble lineage. This is worse than I thought. I don't know if any advice is going to help. Okay, let me ask you this. What type of girl do you like? What type of girl do you like, Leo Kuhn? A girl suited to my aristocratic qualities. She must be from a family of some standing. Finally, she must be equal parts intelligent and comely. Never met a girl like that before. Or maybe I've been looking in the wrong places. Okay, let me ask you this. Have you ever had a girlfriend before? You already know the answer, but I suppose you want to hear me say it. No, I haven't. I see. Okay, how about a one-night stand or something like that? An aristocrat should, such as I would never commit such an abhorrent act. I wouldn't even hold a hands with the damsel unless we were at least dating. Jeez, this guy's more naive than I thought. I see. Alright, Leo Kuhn, from what you've told me, we're going to need to change the way you think. A lot. Ha! You think your impaired pre peasant mind could hope to change how I think? Don't make me laugh. Based on what I've heard so far, I should... Uh... Perspective. Listen, Leo Kuhn. You know how the universe is incomprehensibly vast? Pardon? Well, yes, I suppose it is. So what? Like, we think it's vast, but it's even vaster than that. Like, vastly so. Get to the point. Compared to the scale of the universe, things like being an aristocrat are utterly insignificant. No, they are not. No, think about it. We're talking about the universe here. It's really, really big. I fail to see how this is in any way relevant. I shan't be misled by such inane sophistry. So sophistry. Uh, oh, no. Oh. I don't want to have to redo all of that. But I think I do. 
God damn it. I don't know which more I I guess honestly me lecturing him isn't gonna matter let's just take him to the red light district all right I know now there's no way I'm gonna persuade you with words alone finally some wisdom I commend you for knowing your place but you aren't going to give up that easily are you that's not what I meant get ready Leo Kun because I'm gonna show you how to be a man in more ways than one what what? Why did he say what twice? What is this place? One of my favorite places. I reserved the most popular girl for you. What is the meaning of this? I couldn't possibly enter such an establishment. Oh, I should also mention, there's some pretty scary types running the joint, and they don't take kindly to sudden cancellations. Shinada, what have you done? Ayano Koji! Zounds, what are you doing? Don't be so uptight! But why do I have to... Why is he shouting his name? Fine, fine. I'll go. All done. So, how was it? How shall I explain? Many things don't seem as important anymore. Nice. So I'd call that a breakthrough. What's that supposed to mean? Admit it. You had a good time. Don't change the subject. You had a good time, right? Y yes. And you learned it's okay not to send set the bar so high? Yes. And there it is. Nice job, Leo-kun. You're on the stairway to manhood. I am? Er, I mean, I am. I suppose. Yes! Haha! -ha. Now you owe me! Ah, fine. Yes, I owe you. Sweet! I'm gonna hold you to your word. Now let's see. Maybe I'll have you buy me a TV. No, wait, how about a car? Then again, cash is always king. What? What are you babbling about? You said you wanted some training. Oh, right. I'm gonna beat some good lessons into you, so you'd better prepare yourself. Whoa, I don't like the sound of that. But okay, I'll be back when I'm ready. Oh shit, we're not over there with him anymore. I gotta run all the way back, game. How could you do this to me? Let's see what trainings... How many of, how many of these do I have to do? How many do you have? Uh, it's six. Six isn't so bad. That's doable. Oh no! God damn it, I got freaking. Alright, fine. I'll fight you, dumbass. Stop blocking! Oh my god. That guy just rolled up with a. Oh my god! I hit that guy on the ground with that swing. What exactly is this story you have in the title? You know exactly what it is. Although I'm doing side stuff already. We did like, there was like three cutscenes. And now there's a new sub subquest. And I can do my, my master training, so. Oh shit, I ran right by the right right by the the sub story too. That's okay. Coming up here to get training. I got to do six trainings and teach this guy how to not be weird. What trainings do you have? I 
know nothing about you. I didn't expect any part of my science unto you. Temper, temper. Let's begin with the contest. I'm quite skilled with weapons, so I'll be armed. You can fight barehanded with a weapon. I'll allow you to do whatever you like. Don't expect a reimbursement if you wear out a weapon battling me. Any repairs that might be required are coming out of your pocket. Heat actions are not available in training battles. Make sure you're fully prepared. <laughs> as, as this guy is far more dangerous than he looks. I love it. Ayano Koji. What do you got? A baton? Oh, yeah, fall down. I'm just gonna hold him in the corner here. Eventually, he'll give in. Dude, his block, his blocking is top tier. Stop fucking knocking me down, you punk! I need a different combo. God damn it. Yeah, that's a way that's way better at opening him up. Just the punch and then the kick. Motherfucker. Get cycled. Get out of here. Ho oh, ho ho. Block all you want. Block all you want. Gouch, learn to pull your punches during our lessons, you brute. What? You told me to do whatever I wanted. Fool, is your cranium truly empty? What kind of vassal strikes his lord with all his strength? Wait, when did I go from student to vassal? Shinada, you must learn to show respect for those above your station. I do not know why I expect anything better of you, though. And you need to stop being such an ass face, Leo Kun. But fine, I apologize profusely for the accident of my birth. Happy? What? That is no apology. Oh, never mind. I grow tired of this farce. At least I know what you are capable of. You're stronger than I thought. Aw, oh, yeah. Thanks. Now then, Shinada. Did you pick up on anything in particular about my fighting style? Yeah, you block like a bitch. Your fighting style? Uh... What are you doing? Why are you training if you cannot be bothered to pay attention? What have I told you about wasting my time? I am taking great care with each blow to ensure my weapons remain in pristine condition. There are ways to lower the stress upon your weapon no matter what technique you are using. Really? That's the first bit of master-like wisdom I've heard from you so far. Insolent fool! Show some respect! 
Relax, will you? It's just, I used to play pro baseball, so I get that it's important to treat equipment properly. I'll try to keep that in mind. Thrift Mastery. Now then, consider this payment for your service as my vassal. You'll have to do something else for me if you want another lesson. Never expected to learn anything like that. This feudal service thing is totally worth it. Ah, the very model of a peasant. I see you do know your place after all. I look forward to what you come up, come up with next. I may already have access to another training. I'm going to... We're gonna find out here in a sec. He did kind of kick the shit out of me, though. I'm gonna go eat some food, I think. You really gotta use the quicker, the 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 one-two of the the punch to the kick in order to try to break through his his constant blocking. My bad. All right, well, we'll be able to finish this place off for sure. Yeah, I don't even actually hit full HP. That's kind of impressive. I don't know if all of these are going to give me spirit. I don't just want to throw money away, but I am going to get this this just in case. Yeah, they all gave me spirit. Damn. Alright, well we completed a restaurant. I don't know that I've really done that for anybody else except for maybe Kiryu or Saijima. I almost don't want to look, but I'm going to. Yeah, we're at 132 out of 568. Oh, I finished uh, Sushi Zanmai and Nagasugai, which was... Nagasugai was Kiryu, so I ate all the sushi. Oh, and I finished the Udon restaurant in, uh, somewhere. Hakata. Maybe this was Saijima? Tsukimino was, was Sajima. Oh, we yeah, got close on this uh, eyeball tavern, close on Cafe Alps. Although those don't specify locations, so. Tsurahashi forgets who's the. Zubaraya. These are all in... These are all in, uh, Sotenbury. Oh, and these are definitely gonna be our Kamurocho. Smile Burger, Kyushu Number One Star, Kanrai, Sushi Jin, Pronto Bar, Cafe, Her Shop, so... The Oh, did the Cafe Alps and Kamurocho close? Yo. That's gonna blow my mind. Alright, let's see if he'll train me after, since I already did a life lesson for him. Oh, okay. So I needed to give him some advice to get that first lesson that we got. All right, let's see what we can see if we can help this guy out a little bit more. Advice time. Let's talk about your life. I shall have none of your reckless schemes this time, understand? I want to hear what you have in mind first. 
Oh, come on, admit it. You actually liked it, right? I'll introduce you to another girl, and at a discounted price again, too. Really? Er, I mean, you shan't pull the wool over my eyes so easily, cretin. I am a noble, an aristocrat. We of such high birthly... We of such high birth rarely, if ever, go to such a vulgar establishment. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're an, aristoc you're an aristocrat. And while we're on the subject, does that bizarro make up your attempt to look like one? Are you implying I am a fraud? I'll have you know that this makeup is what every proper, proper noble wears. But, Leo Kuhn, come on. No one's going to take you seriously if you look like that. F Fie? I wouldn't expect a peasant like you to understand the splendor of my appearance. It has nothing to do with me being a peasant. Now, I have a few questions if you don't mind. You may present your inquiries, but not you can say shall make me remove my makeup. Okay, let me ask you this. Are you wearing that because you like it? Or are your parents forcing you? No, my parents dress in more modern clothes, albeit they don't feel as aristocratic as I do. So you chose this style because it makes you look like an aristocrat? Indeed. My noble spirit cries out for such elegance. So there'd be no need for him to look like this if he can get his head on straight. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you even care what girls think about you? I mean, normal people don't dress like that. I don't care what you peasants think. And I am far superior to her concept of conception of normal in any case. I have no use for anyone who cannot understand that. Do you think there's anybody who thinks you look cool like that? Few indeed, but that is not my concern. Only those who understand my sublime fashion sense matter. He knows he's not in the mainstream, but it doesn't seem like he's going to change. Do you honestly think you look cool like that? This splendid makeup is simply oozing with elegance. What better way to display my aristocracy? This isn't about elegance or aristocracy. It's about looking good. You know, like a stud. A ladies man. Well, I must concede that the, arist the aristocratic ideal likely differs from the modern day con commoner's conception of good looks. Hmm, okay. So not even he thinks he looks good in the modern sense. I think I get it now. You take pride in looking like that. In looking like that. That should go without saying. I'm impressed a peon such as yourself is able to grasp that. At least on what I've heard so far, I should... Hmm. Well, I don't know what this means, but this isn't going to get us anywhere, and I don't think this is either, so... Okay, let's say the table's returned. For example... Are there any female celebrities you have a thing for? You know, any you think are cute. A celebrity? Hmm. Well, I have been rather taken with Azusa-chan from T-Set as of late. An idol? Seriously? Uh, never mind. Let's go with Azusa-chan then. Would you still like her if she put on Odafuku makeup? You know, the white face, red cheeks, narrow red lips, and eyebrows way up here? What? She would never wear that. Not even on a comedy show. We're talking hypothetically here. Just humor me. Well, I suppose putting makeup like that on her would mar her beauty. Exactly. And the same goes for you, Leo Kuhn. But my makeup is different. It is an expression of my aristocratic qualities. That may be true to you, but that's not what other people think. They just see weird makeup. They don't see the good-looking guy underneath. It's just like if Azusa-chan Azusa wore Otafuku makeup, you see? So you're saying when people look at me, they don't see an aristocrat, just a buffoon in strange makeup? Exactly. Now do you understand? That's ludicrous. Or... Or is it? Perhaps you're onto something. Is that why commoners always mock me? You bet it is. So you ready for a makeover, Leo Kuhn? You're gonna turn heads. People will be saying, hey, an aristocrat. But I already am a Heian aristocrat. Though, perhaps I should trust you. Wow, you're actually considering this? You had doubts of your own, didn't you? Of course I did. I'm not blind. I know that I am the only one dressed like this. I wish to broadcast my aristocracy to the world, but I realize now that perhaps that is unwise. I shall give up my makeup. Great. Is he just like a... Yeah, he just looks like a normal dude. Look at that. My makeup is no more. Whoa, damn, Leo Kuhn. You're pretty handsome. Do not mock me, peasant. I'm not. I'm serious here, super serious. 
Your dreams of having a girlfriend are just around the corner. Being told I'm handsome by another man does little to inspire me. Guys don't like saying stuff like that, so when they do, they really mean it. Anyway, I don't like you enough to lie to you about that. Well, you do have a point there. Okay, now that we've seen what's under the hood, we're good to go. That's not for you to decide. Still, I guess we can consider this done with. I could never have changed without your aid, and I suppose you have my gratitude for that. All right, then. That concludes this round of feudal service. Fine. You have served me well, so return when you wish to continue your lessons. Be ensure, but ensure you are prepared. Oh, I'm all prepared. I'm prepared. What are we doing? Uh, okay. If we get giving you a choice in it, you have the nerve to complain about it. This isn't some mindless course upon the internet, but I suppose it's beyond a witless peon like yourself to ascertain what you need to know. It's like going in circles with you, so very irksome. If you really want me to choose, how about a big flashy special move? I should have seen that coming. Commoners are always drawn to the garish ones. Enough of the snarky remarks. Do you have a special move or not? Of course I do. Okay, lay it on me. Listen well, Shinoda. Grandiose moves like that do not simply happen. They evolve out of those you use with frequency. That means they must come to you naturally if you ever hope to master them. Hey, pal. You're supposed to be the master here, so don't shirk your teaching duties. I said not of the sort. I will teach you. Huh? And now you doubt me? You say that I will put you through training design... I say that I will put you through training design to allow new techniques to come to you naturally. Can you grasp that? Oh, that's what you meant. I take that as a yes. Just keep in mind... Just keep that in mind as you practice. All right, let's get started. Are you sure you're prepared? Let's do it. Gotta beat him up again. I'm not pulling any punches. I'm punching this dude as hard as I can. Although he's he's getting a little he's he's getting a little better as we go. Oh, he's using Tonfa. Tried to block that. God damn this guy. Hey. Oh, he didn't like that. Damn you. God damn you with the stun counter move. Nice. He, he is actually tough to fight, but you just have to be smart about how you attack. You fool, that really hurt. Whoops. Sorry, Leo Kuhn. But hey, I think I just figured something out during that training. It doesn't work that way, you witless peasant. No, I'm serious. I think I'm really onto something. My whirlwind essence. Did you really come up with that just now? I'll have to slice open that mushy brain of yours someday to see how it works. Whoa, I'm not letting you vi vivisect me. But I will commend you on another great lesson, Leo-kun. 
Do not make a mockery of my name. It is a moniker that embodies pride, and one my mother and father bestowed upon me. You will refer to me as Master Ayano Koji. I didn't mean any disrespect. It's just Ayano Koji so long and kind of weird sounding. I'll have you know that it is a noble and storied name. It certainly commands more respect than Tatsuo. Who could ever take someone named Tatsuo seriously? Fine, fine. Let's just forget this and move on. Do not think to act the bigger man. You will always be my inferior. Listen, your lessons are really helping me. I really do want to thank you, Leo-kun. Really? Oh, well, all right then. Let us call it even, shall we? If you wish for another lesson, you'll have to do something else for me. Got it. See you again soon. Um, I didn't lose a whole lot of health, but there's only a few restaurants in town, so like I could just go to another one and try to eat up really quick and since he's actually hurting me and I'm actually nervous about surviving fighting him plus my new sub story is right down over here oh Shinoda-san am I glad to see you Oh, yeah, from the magazine office. Fancy meeting you here. What's up? There's a big emergency going down. Everyone from the office is scouring the streets. It's our chance to score a massive scoop. A scoop, you say? Yeah, the pop idol Michiru Yamazaki is here in Kineicho. He's supposed to be meeting a girl on the side, if you catch my drift. We're all busting our butts to find him. Oh, so you're tabloid hunting. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Why are you talking like this doesn't mean a thing to you? Help us, Shinoda-san. If you can catch him with that girl on camera, we'll throw you a decent chunk of change. Oh, really? You do know Michiru Yamazaki, don't you? He's a pop icon from Tokyo who's known for his clean and pure relationship with his beautiful, beautiful fiance. Turns out he's a total scumbag. According to my sources, he'll sleep with anything that moves. Doesn't matter whether his targets are married or dating or what, he's a real ass. Even other celebrities have had their girls stolen away, but they're afraid to go after him because of his powerhouse agency. So nobody's spoken out. And here's the kicker. There are rumors he's been responsible for more than a few abortions. Some of the girls involved even went as far as slashing their wrists. Whoa. So he's basically chaotic evil then. Well, despite all the rumors, he's slippery when it comes to evading the press. We can never get enough evidence to put him in his place. Anyway, we caught wind that Yamazaki's in town. Being that he's away from his home turf, he's bound to be less wary. We were told he came without his usual posse so he can meet this mystery girl in private. This is our one in a million chance. Okay, I get the picture. I don't have a clue what this Yamazaki guy looks like. I thought you might say that. I have a photo of him right here. Here, memorize his face. As you can see, he has quite a distinctive appearance, so he shouldn't be hard to spot. Ah, uh, that is one mohawk. Hey, <laughs> looks like he's got a chicken roosting in his on his head. Shinoda-san, listen carefully. There's no point in taking pictures of Yamazaki on his own. If you spot him, tail him discreetly until he's alone with the, with the other girl. If you can get shots of them going into a hotel or something, it'll be a huge win for us. Where could he possibly be, though? Kineicho has a lot of ground to cover. If we knew that, we wouldn't be pumping all our resources into finding him. Right now, we're assigning each reporter to a certain area in order to blanket the town. Shinoda-san, can you cover Kumano Boulevard for us? That's the one area we're spread thin. Kumano Boulevard. Roger that. Counting on you, Shinoda-san. Make it happen. Okay, I am going to save because this seems like one that you can fuck up. And I don't want to have to redo those trainings with uh, with Leo. So, oh, how do I cross the street right here? Got to be a way to cross the street. Save points right on the other side. Crossing the street real fast. Oh, that person teleported in front of me. And then teleported out of existence. So where is Kumano Boulevard?
Okay. Alright, I guess I'll just run up from south and go to north, because I don't know... I don't know exactly which, uh... Area specifically. It might mean the whole street, it might just mean the center section, who knows. No, I don't want to fight you. Leave me alone. I'm looking for somebody. seen anything so far. Hmm. I didn't see anything. I'm on the right street, right? Yeah? Oh, there he is. Hey, is that? Yep, that's him, all right. Just look at, the, look at this adulterous asshole. Well, whatever. Gotta get me those photos. Hello? Yeah, it's me. Are you off work? Huh? What's that? Don't be stupid, babe. You know you're my one true love. I told you, the others, they're just toys, appetizers, bun warmers at best. Haha, <laughs> no. I don't plan on sleeping with any more fans. Not for a while, anyway. Heh <laughs> gotcha. Uh-huh. Seriously. Wouldn't want another one cutting herself. Yeah, she should have gotten rid of it sooner. It's like, how do you not know you're incubating a fetus? Uh-huh. Don't I know it? Okay. I'm on my way right now. Hope you're ready to get naked. Man, that was some vile stuff you spewed out there. Do you still have the gall to cheat? Better follow this douche from a distance.
he stopped. Hey, Michiru, it's me. Thanks for coming out here. Isn't this the perfect place for our secret rendezvous? Do you really have to talk so goddamn loud? Pipe down, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Beep. He's angry. Itty. That's hot. Almost as hot as when you're on stage. Holy crap, just shut up. Seriously. Not another word. Listening to you wears me out. Hey, that's mean. Why are you even seeing me then? Because I want to rock that deviant little body of yours. Now keep your blowhole shut until we get to the room. Well, that must be the side chick. I'll slink along ever so silently until I can catch the moment of truth. Dude, I hate this guy. I want to be able to beat the living hell out of him at the end of this. They stopped. Oh, are they heading into a love hotel? Oh yeah, baby. Now it's about to get steamy. Yes. Now don't be shy. Let me see that money shot. Hey, what the? Stop it. Who the fuck are you? Get that camera out of here. Stop it, I said. Ew, who is this creepazoid? Can you please go away? Not until I smash that camera of his. Give me that shit. Hey, hey, sucks to be you, scumbag. I got what I came for, and away I go. Enjoy the rest of your date. Get back here, you cockroach. Hard left. Going this way? Nope, going this way. Oh, he doesn't get baited easy. Later, loser. Looks like I'm in the clear. He didn't even stand a chance. Shinoda-san, you did it! Those photos are priceless. Yamazaki's grimace of despair is going to be on every tabloid across Japan, courtesy of Nightlife Magazine. I gotta tell you, that was no walk in the park. Going around playing candid camera is totally not my specialty. Nah, not at all. I'd say you're better off snapping compromising photos than writing dirty articles. This is seriously the work of a master. Sure, if you say so. Now, let's talk money. You said you'd pay well for those photos, right? Of course. The chief was strutting around like a peacock over them. 10k? Oh yeah, and Tatsu hits the jackpot. You sure did, Shinoda-san. Thanks for coming through for us. And for all who hold entertainment secret. Alright, that was a pretty easy one. I didn't have much to be worried about, to be honest. Oh, I think this Cafe, Cafe Alps only has like one item left in it. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, yeah. These just don't give you any buff. I have Earl Grey tea. Yeah, that's it. Um, can I sneak in any of these other ones? Because the tea is probably just going to give me spirit, which I already have. 
All these other ones are going to max me out. Could do like a toast set for focus and then use an app stim. Cafe Alps is done now though. That's nice. There it is. Oh, just kidding. It's not done. So there are Cafe Alps in other locations, but they have mostly the same menu is what I'm gathering from that. Which is like, oh, there's another sub story. Uh, let me just save and grab an app stim that I can use to get more buffs. I'm going to have to do all these trainings. I want to, I want to get a little bit, um, built up so that they're not a trouble. Those off. Go to recovery. Grab that. Do a little save a Rooney. Oh, hi. Look at all you and your chuckle fucks. I tried to block that. I don't know what I did to piss off hosts as Shinoda, but it's a damn shame that they hate him so much. Hmm, what's going on here? What's the problem? You're just gonna blow it on lame otaku bullshit. We'll put it to better use, so hurry up and fork it over. Unless you want your waifu to get hurt. Ha ha ha! Please, just leave me alone. We'll leave you alone once you hand over the money. Fucking nerd. Say guys, don't you think you're being a little obvious here? Shaking down this kid in a broad daylight? You know the police don't look too kindly on that sort of thing. Huh? Who the hell are you? Maybe he's the geek's best buddy. Bet they were about to watch hentai together. No on both counts, but for a couple of haters, you sure know a lot about his hobbies. Heh, <laughs> that's just our way of getting inside his head. Bullying's all about psychological warfare, man. Guess what? We saved the guerrilla warfare for you. Hope you don't mind us going ape shit. Bring it on, dudes. You guys are the real hentai fans. I can tell. Oh, I didn't know I had that move. Yeah. 
Of course I do, though. He used to play baseball. It looks exactly like a slide. Okay, no more, please. We'll get gone for good. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Um, if it's okay, I'd like to give you this figure as thanks. You'll be good to it, won't you? Treat it like a lady? Stroke it tenderly? Jesus Christ. Yes, I gave the hero a precious item to aid him on his journey. With that, I'll be off. Incredible. Hmm, bravo. A most impressive display. Huh? I had the honor of watching you trounce those bullies. Clearly, you know how to handle yourself under pressure. Whoa, you were watching the whole time? I am aware this is out of the blue, but may I interest you in a job? One that would be right up your alley, judging from that demonstration. A job? I don't know. I mean, I need one, yes, but I'm tired of getting roped into shady deals. I pride myself on being a law-abiding citizen. Yeah. Perhaps you have the wrong impression of me. My offer is far from illegitimate. Are you sure? Everything about you screams, warning, suspicious man approaching. Do not engage under any circumstances. Oh, is that so? I chose this getup specifically to avoid attracting attention. I thought it'd help me blend into the background. Well, is this a poor choice? A black suit and glasses, though? That just makes you look like an assassin. If your goal is to make people not look at you, then sure, you did your job. Can we move on, please? The job I'm offering does not violate any sort of law, and I, I assure you. The job only entails escorting a certain lady on a tour of the city. It won't be for much time, either. You want me to be a tour guide? Why would you need someone good in a fight for that? A fair point. However, as I, as a dignified diva in a foreign land, wouldn't she be more comfortable around a man who exhibits both strength and restraint? As I said, it won't take much time, perhaps an hour at most. As compensation for your labor and security, I can offer you a million's worth. Really? A million? Just for showing some lady around town? Precisely. So, will you agree to those terms? Fuck yeah, dude. Sign me up. I will, I will. Please let me take the jo this job. I'm so broke. Er, what I meant by that is, I, Tatsu Shinoda, pledge to guard the lady with my life. Very good. Thank you. Now please take a look behind you. Uh, okay. Holy moly. She is the lady I represent. The American songstress turned global, global superstar Daddy Papa. Is she wearing seaweed? Is this supposed to be a Lady Gaga thing? Daddy... Papa? Oh, you don't know of her? You must be joking. Nope. Never heard of her. Is she really that famous? You've never heard of Daddy Papa? The irresistible international sensation? Sales of over 70 million CDs worldwide? Oh, huh. What makes a huge celebrity like her want to come all the way out here? Well, she's always been appreciative of Japanese culture. So far, she's explored our major cultural hubs such as Tokyo and Osaka. This time, she's traveling incognito so she can explore Nagoya unfettered. You call that dumpster ensemble incognito? I mean, what is that dress she's wearing? It smells like the ocean. Yikes! That's real seaweed! Just what part of America do you come from? I'd really like to know where that getup would go unnoticed. To be honest, I concur. However, as far as she's concerned, this is more strained than her usual attire. Ah! Oh, she f she's French? Say humiliating to appear before others in a dress so somber and lacking in esprit? Were there a pit, I would hide in it, it, I would hide in, it in shame. Please don't talk. Please don't talk anymore. Oh, what? You speak Japanese? Daddy is capable of conversing in four languages, Japanese being one. The French she peppers in is mostly for show. Ah, oui! The languages of the world, they give inspiration to the poems that I write. Japanese, c'est mon favorite, especially. Daddy is a true musical prodigy. She not only composes all her songs, she writes all the lyrics as well. Unfortunately, she's suffering from a bit of, a bit of writer's block with the lyrics for her new song. She's visiting in hopes of finding inspiration. Bite your tongue. I do not wish to be hearing of that now, understand? Now, are you you are to be guiding me, Mr. Shinoda, ma'am. Tatsuo Shinoda, at your service. Very well, Tatsuo. Enchanté. As you have heard, Daddy Papa, I am. 
I shall be granting you permis permission to address me as your ladyship. Your ladyship. Okay. Please excuse me for not introducing myself earlier. I'm George Matsuno. I'm Daddy's secretary and bodyguard. Oh, Matsuno, that is too formal. A pet you are. Yes, well, perhaps that might be more accurate. It's not easy being you, is it? I'm afraid not. Moreover, Naglia is completely new to me, despite the fact I grew up in Japan. Ah, gotcha. Got it. So that's why you needed a guided tour. Or a tour guide. Yes, there's also the fact that Daddy can't stay long. If she is in public too long, it would it could cause a media circus. Anyway, without further ado, I'd like to recommend I'd like you to recommend a good place to start with. I will handle the security. A good place? You mean like a tourist spot? We. Oui. But I am a superstar international. Take me to take me you shall to a site that is worthy of being seen by mine eyes. Hmm. Okay. But where would that be? Uh, I don't know. I don't know which of these places is like. Going to be like the good one, you know. She's seen stages before. That's not going to be exciting. The TV tower seems interesting to me, but may not be interesting to her. And the club is maybe like the seemingly silly answer that might be right. I do not know. I just cannot decide. I'm very torn. I think maybe. Let's do the TV tower. The TV tower would be the safe choice. All right, let me show you the way. Please follow me. Here we are, the illustrious TV tower. It's one of the most iconic landmarks in Nagoya. I see. You went with a safe choice, Shinoda-san. Hmm. Tatsuo, it is not bad, this building. However, displeasing it is to me. A tower should be looking down upon the great daddy papa pa how insulting oh didn't see that coming yeah. i'm sorry shinoda san daddy can be complex sometimes anyway this will do for sightseeing huh we're done already our visit is very short we don't have time to dawdle let's move on move on to what well daddy always makes it a point to enjoy some japanese cuisine you wouldn't mind sharing a drink with her would you oh i would love to so, her ladyship requires a dining establishment that serves a good drink? I can work with that. That would be appreciated. Daddy, do you have any requests? Ah, Matsuno. Can you do nothing outside of depending on my guidance? So much like a child you are, and equally helpless. Well, I only asked if you had any preferences about where you'd like to go. Hmm, ah, uh, yes. Then, let it be somewhere that is serving delicacies representative of this here Nagoya. Also, it should let me feel relaxed. Okay, that's cool. Let me think for a sec. Club's not relaxed. I don't know what this one is. This would be relaxed, but I so I, I almost feel like this sub story is intended to like let you play to Shinoda's strength, which is being like just a regular ass dude. So I'm just gonna go with the chicken wing stand. I think she would have liked the club as well. Or the sorry, the 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 first answer, the one that I debated on but didn't pick. A chicken wing stand might be what she's looking for. Okay, I know just the place. Right this way, please. Drink, local delic delicacy. You know, nice and relaxed. Ta-da! Here we are at an authentic Tebasaki stand. That's Nagoya-style chicken wings, by the way. You can say it's a local favorite. That's all fine and well, but don't you think it's a little too out in the open? Tatsuo, is there not a place in Nagoya where I can relax in peace? I requested such, did I not? Damn it, really? Somewhere more discreet? Oh, shoot. Will this do? Ah, a restaurant to chicken wings. Of course. It is no problem. Coming here first is what we should have done. 
Excellent. Okay, Daddy. We really don't have much time. But let's enjoy some sake. Shit, was this the second option? Ooh, the Japanese sake. Pure ambrosia from heaven. This... Tebasaki as well. They are not the wings of chickens, but of angels. I'm with you, Daddy. But go easy on the sake. You don't want to get so hammered that you can't even pick up a panda right. Aw, oh, doesn't she deserve to have a little fun? After all, she went through all this trouble coming out here. Let's make it a night to remember. Tatsuo, well said. Correct you are. Drink. We must once more. Tatsuo, to what shall we toast? Uh... I don't like any of these. I don't like any of these options. But she's pretty full of herself, so this top one might be okay. I don't even know how this would be the option. She's been wearing sunglasses the whole time. Well, of course, to you, Daddy Papa. That's a fine idea. I was about to suggest the same. <laughs> ah, such darlings you are. Far across the ocean here in Nagoya, I am toasted by two charming gentlemen. So fortunate I am. This amazing life now, young me, could never have imagined. Shinoda-san, before she became a star, Daddy scraped by as a waitress. During that time, she wrote thousands of songs. Thousands? You sure you're not exaggerating here? Not in the slightest. Back then, writing poetry was as natural as breathing. I think of myself then as an insect, petite, and sans significance. Acute and ravenous hunger drove me daily to seek the path of success. Now, however, I am plagued by fear. Terror that I will be failing, falling down back to failure. Every morning I check the mirror and make sure I have not devolved into a lowly worm from what was once a beautiful butterfly. Dang. Guess even a goddess still has to face her demons. Actually, Shinoda-san, this is a great turn of events. Daddy's relaxed enough to open up and share, with her, share her worries with us. If this keeps up, she can very well snap out of her funk and break through her writer's block. So what do we need to do to make that happen? By the way, Tatsuo, really, you have not heard my music? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I haven't. <laughs> someone like you is actually invaluable to us for market research. It's incredibly rare to find someone who has never heard of Daddy in this day and age. Ugh. Wish I had a better excuse than I'm just scraping by, but I can't exactly afford to make music a hobby. Stay your worries. Burning you on a cross, I am not. However, indeed it is rare for an ordinary person to be ignorant of daddy. Very well, Tatsu. Let me ask you this. To you, what kind of music do you think I am a singer of? What kind of songs do you write? Ooh, let me think here. Uh... Uh... Probably this first one. I can imagine you singing songs to cheer on the weak, like songs to give courage to people who have no confidence in themselves. I see. So that was your first impression, was it? You are startling, Tatsuo. Your perception. It is perfection incarnate. Almost. Wait, I was right? Oui. For you see, I was not born this way. As a powerless plebeian is how I started my life. So I sing to embolden the timid, much like I, my helpless former self. I kind of, that's pretty much why I guessed it. You can see from my dress of seaweed, I am conformist not at all. My character, being too strong, many times made an outcast of me. However, success I achieved without betraying who I am. I am one example of a sheep of color black who made society accepting on her own terms. If people having no confidence get bravery from seeing me and hearing my melodies, then my career is one of great value. <laughs> Shinoda-san had never seen Daddy open up like this. Guess that's what the sake is for. Please don't make me answer any more questions. Oh boy. Daddy's had a few too many sips, it appears. Perhaps we'd best be on our way. I'm sorry, Shinoda-san, but here's my wallet. Can you settle the tab, please? I'll take Daddy outside for some fresh air. Daddy Papa. Phew. Guess that's a job well done. Where are Daddy and Matsuno? No. Oh. Oh no. What happened? Hey, Matsuno-san. What happened? Shinoda-san. It's Daddy. These strange men took her. They took Daddy? Where? That way. Him. That guy over there. He's one of them. What? Time to jet. Hi. Hey, stop! Chase time. Oh, 
Oh, I want that water. Oh, God. This guy can't run for shit. I'm on top of him already. Oh, this motherfucker. You little weasel, where'd you take Daddy Papa? Ugh. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Tatsu! Uh... Ademoi? Rescue me! What are you, her bodyguard? What are all of you? Who are you people? You need to let her go, right now. Yeah, right. All we gotta do is hold this bitch ransom for a year or two, and then we'll be living like kings. Tatsuo! Oh, he's got a gun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the big idea flashing around that nasty piece of work? Can't have witnesses picking these pretty mugs out of a police lineup now, can we? Yikes. Calling that pistol shoddy doesn't even begin to describe how terrible that thing is. Tatsu, are you okay? There is no injury? Yep, I'm fine. What about you? Looks like your seaweed isn't too ruffled. We oui, completely. It is your doing. Merci, Tatsu. Thank you so much, Shinoda-san. I wasn't prepared for this. It's my fault. I'm terribly sorry. Hehe, <laughs> I thought it was a little too easy for such a high-paying job. Ha, after what happened, it might not be enough. Here is your pay, as promised. 4,000 yen. Woohoo! A million sure makes a hefty bundle! Or... Wait a minute. Why is this only 4,000 yen? What happened to the 1 million yen? Yeah. I said no such thing. I said a million and meant a million Vietnamese dong, not a million yen. Vietnamese dong? Yes, by current, see, by current exchange rates, 250 Vietnamese dong is worth around 1 yen. In other words, a million Vietnamese dong is worth... 4,000 yen. 4,000? 4,000 yen. Let's say it over and over. Damn it all. I got screwed by Vietnamese dong. <laughs> Great. A million yen for an hour. You don't honestly think that much was actually on the table. Oh, Matsuno. Cheap fisted you are, like always. Money I carry not with me. Tatsuo, instead, you should be accepting this. Daddy Papa's autograph. Savior of you, you are, Tatsuo. For me, you have risking your life. That autograph you can be selling for good money. Today, you will be forgiving me, please. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's okay, though. I got to spend time with the world's... I got to spend time with the world's top songstress. It was fun, and I got to eat some tebasaki, too. Tatsuo. When those men taking me, all the time I am thinking why I'd be made a victim. I'm a big singer. A special person I am. I am thinking it is unfair I face dangerous situation and even maybe meet my end. 
But it is a mistake. Foolish me. Desperate I was to be special. A goddess among gibbons, I fancied. But, big singer or no, I lack control over those throes of life or and death. In the end, I am ordinary like everyone else. When I saw you fighting, an epiphany I had. Seeing ordinary people be brave gives hope to the hopeless. That is what cheers them on. Before, I tried to be writing songs to cheer on the weak. But a pit of hubris did I let myself fall into. That is where my writing failed. To me, you taught that, Tatsuo. So, this visit to Japan actually means something to you now? Naturally. This visiting, it has already inspired me with new poems and music. Next time, you will please be guiding me again. Hey, you got it. But I gotta warn you, my right might have gone up to 10 million Vietnam Vietnamese dong by then. Very well. Goodbye, Tatsuo. I shall be returning home, but never will I be forgetting you. I sure was a sub story. Reading her dialogue was awful. She must speak in, like, stilted, broken Japanese. In, uh... Normally, and they tried to, like... Translate that somehow into English and oh my god, it just hurt my fucking brain reading reading her dialogue just hurt my head I think I'm in physical pain I get I get why they would translate it like that too. I'm not even necessarily complaining. Oh Not even necessarily complaining about that. It just It's very hard to read it like that Yep, my exclamation point is back. <sighs> yeah, I gotta get something to drink. A lot of great options on this list, actually. I'll take those, and then... This, and hope that I get strength up. I got one strength up. So we got to do a victory road thing. And we got to keep working on our master training. We're making progress though. Pretty nice steady progress. I think Shinoda is at he's at 14 out of 15 sub stories now, which is outstanding. That means I think I have less than 10 sub stories left. One, two, three, four, five. I've got six. Six across the characters left. And uh, Haruka is done. Haruka and Saijima? Oh no, Haruka has one left. Akiyama and Kiryu have two. Shinoda and Haruka have one. Alright, I think we have to do life advice first.
Advice time, let's talk about your life. I've already affected many of the changes you have mentioned, but I've yet to see results. These things take time. How old are you again, Leo-kun? As I've told you countless times, I am 35. Well, I'll need a little more patience out of you, considering all the quirks you've developed over the years. I can't fix them all at once. Quirks? What you consider to be quirks are mannerisms befitting a nobleman such as myself. You certainly have no right to criticize me. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Now, what should we do this time? Hmm. You already got the makeup off, so I guess you should lose those clothes next. Nay. Don't you want to change your look? This garb embodies my very soul. Removing my makeup was trying enough. But how will people know I am of noble birth without these clothes? If looking like an aristocrat is that important to you, then maybe it's a bit too soon to lose those clothes. Time for plan B. I'm going to ask you a few questions, just like before. Now then. What do you do all day? What do you do all day, Leo-kun? Clarify. You don't work, so you must have lots of free time during the week. What do you do to pass the time? On the contrary, I have no free time. I am plenty. I have plenty of responsibilities, such as watching TV, playing video games, taking walks, and going shopping. In other words, all of his time is free time. Must be nice to be that rich. Now then, have you ever considered getting a job? What an absolutely ridiculous question. If you wanted for nothing, would you seek employment? Good point. Never mind. Exactly. At last, something we can agree upon. But some people work even if they don't have to. They want to do something meaningful or contribute to society or something like that. Nobles have lived off tribute offered by commoners and vassals for centuries. We have no need to work for a living. Working for work's sake is a laborer's virtue and nothing more. It holds no value for me. I'm not one to talk, but man, this guy's rotten to the core. You say you want a girlfriend, but are you even able to talk to girls? Is your skull truly that empty? Of course I am able to speak to women. I am speaking right now, am I not? That's not what I mean. I don't see you around girls that much. I thought maybe you were too nervous to talk to them. Oh, I see. Well, I can communicate with them well enough, but I must admit that I am not versed in making idle chatter. But the average wench would not be able to follow my aristocratic discourse anyway. Wench? Sheesh. He's making excuses, but it looks like he knows he can't talk to girls. Okay, so you're not the kind of guy who goes out and aggressively pursues love or a career. That is simply how we aristocrats roll, to put it in your common vernacular. You peons comply with our every whim. Why would we even lift a f why would we ever lift a finger? Based on what I've heard so far. Let's do this one. You have to get used to talking to girls, and that takes a lot and that takes lots of practice. Practice, you say? But you don't strike me as a ladies' man, Shinoda. I am unsure if I've even seen you talking to a woman. You're one to talk, Leo-kun. And anyway, I've had my fair share of conversations with women. Anyway, let's have you practice getting to know girls through conversation. The best way to learn is by doing, after all. Wait, how do you intend to toss me into some... Do you intend to toss me into some vulgar establishment again? I've had enough of such dens of debauchery. No, I wouldn't dream of it. Now follow me. What is his plan, if not that? Oh, we're going to Club Eden. And here we are. Go on in. But this is a hostess club. This was your plan? To just toss me in here? Relax. This place is real classy. So don't go calling it vulgar or whatever. Just stop your whining already. Then you must accompany me. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have gotten mixed up with a witless peasant. <laughs> I know Koji! Zounds, again with this? There are moments in your life that you have to face head on. This is one of them. No, I could... I could just as easily walk the other way. Just watch me. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll go in. But, Shinoda, you must join me. Now, how's that going to help you? I'm not going to be around when you meet the right woman. You're on your own here. Will you be joining us this evening, sir? Yeah, a table for my aristocratic friend here. And send over your number one gal. I am overcome with fear. Bye. Have fun. Shinoda, I return. Hey there. You seem awfully chipper, Leo-kun. Yes, well, that was quite exhilarating. My hostess was truly number one. So beautiful. And an adept conversationalist, too. 
That's great. And just think, it's all thanks to me. What are you talking about? All you did was drop me off here. Oh, guess so. Still, that was grand. I've never had so deep a conversation with a woman I'd only met this very I'd met only this very day. Well, it helps that she's a pro at conversation. I'm unsure what all that was about. I'm unsure what what all that was about the bottles and the like. I'm unsure what all that was about. Oh my god, this, se this sentence. I'm unsure what all that was about the bottles and the like, but it was good fun nonetheless. Holy shit. Wait, how much did you end up spending? Oh, uh, about one million yen, and then half again as much. What? But you were only there about an hour and a half, weren't you? I decided I ought to buy the costliest bottle they had. Alas, I drank only one glass and gave the rest to her. That's some serious coin. Man, I can kill myself right now for not going in with you. Well, Shinoda, I can say again and with honesty that I'm glad you I heeded you despite all that's transpired. Yeah, glad to hear it, I guess. Pay me a visit and I shall whip you into shape. Alright. Great. Did he learn anything, though, is the real question, because it doesn't seem like he really learned anything. Like, if anything, he should have learned that his concept of somebody who can keep up with his aristocratic bullshit is pretty outdated. Hey, Shinada, remember me? Uh, it's Washino, the ex-wrestler. I got myself sober. Now I've come to give you a taste of what I can really do. You look like a changed man. It's a big improvement. I still remember all the shit you were talking before. Too late to take it all back now. Ah, this guy. God damn. Stop. I haven't seen my... Oh. Ow. Oh my god. Fuck, dude. Dude, this guy just does not let up. So I lost again, huh? You're a tough customer, Shinoda. <laughs> you didn't do so bad yourself. If you'd been training all along, I doubt I could have beat you. It hurts knowing that I lost even though I gave it my all. I haven't felt this way in, a long, in so long. I know it's frustrating, but I bet it feels good in a way, too. Yeah, you might be right. It's just part of the process. I think I'm going to give this life another shot. I want to find a way into the victory road ring to feel the spotlight on me again. Yeah. I think that's a great goal. Thanks, Shinoda. You've given me a new outlook on life, and a second chance. No need to thank me. I probably didn't have any right to say those things to you either. Go on ahead to the Victory Road Finals. I'll claw my way up there eventually. Just you watch. When I get there, maybe we could even team up. You better wait for me. I wait for no one. That attitude's going to put him in fighting shape in no time. In no time. 2,000 experience. Level up. Level up. Level up. 
Um, three, you say? All right, great. Look at all the things I'm accomplishing. Oh, that's right, I got that. I got that figurine. Does it show you somewhere? Oh. Oh my god. So I didn't I didn't do um hear you stuff. I hope I didn't miss that. Has he, wait, does he- can he do it in his chapter? He doesn't have, like, any fights in his chapter. I don't even know if I- I don't even know if Kiryu met the tournament organizers during his chapter. Honestly, I might have just avoided it. I, if you could, if you could do it in this chapter, I may have accidentally avoided it. Because I didn't know how it worked or what it was yet. But I feel like that was something that, that, got, that got introduced with Saijima stuff. fight you lose oh it's called a crash cushion I don't think they thought it felt very cushiony if I had to make a guess I'm I'm betting that they didn't think that that felt very much like a cushion. Oh my god, look at this guy. Hey! Are you taking part in the victory road? Yeah, why? The name's Shoji Yonashiro, and I'm here to kick your ass. You don't sound like a local. You from out of town? Yep, yeah, I've been traveling around a lot to train. Picked up little tiny bits of the dialects here and there and everywhere. No kidding? I guess you're probably tougher than you look, then. Nah, I ain't much more than your run-of-the-mill martial artist, you feel me? Anyway, let's get ready to rumble.
Is there any reason in particular that he looks like a blue-shirted Luffy? Man, this Victory Road thing ain't a piece of cake. It's the whole thing. You ever trying to eat a whole cake? Not easy. Guess I better uncap myself. Uh, meaning? You know, uncap myself. Unleash my true potential? Become as strong as I always knew I could be? Oh, so you were holding back after all? I was wondering why a guy who trained all over the country seems so weak. Ha! Well spotted, Spot. When I uncap myself, I turn into Hyper Yonashiro. Ooh ha But it takes time to recharge when the fight's done. Hyper... what? I wanted to save it for when my ass was against the wall and in danger of getting kicked, but I think that moment came and went just now. So give me another shot and I'll show you what I can do. Oh. Okay, fine by me. Awesome, possum. Then let's go in like a while. Charger's gonna charge its stuff. Smell you later, Dudorino. Boy, that guy. This guy's cap might be on a little too tight. Can't say I don't like him though. So I need to fight more Victory Road challengers then in order to get. Uh, access to fight him again. The trouble is distinguishing them from gang members and Yakuza and hosts and all that shit. Also, we need to do more master training, so let's go do that. Am I hurt? Not really. All the restaurants are on the other side of town, too, which is kind of a pain in the butt for healing up, but... Like, that guy is in a gang. For sure. This guy might be Victory Road, though. I just think that's so funny that he won't fight with a bat. Alright, training time. I'll decide the content of your lesson. Uh, so mean. I shall put up an iron defense. I want you to figure out how to break through it. Understand? Okay. Everything I do is perfect when I design... When I just deign to put my mind to it. And I am defense ensures I suffer the least physical, the least amount of pain since you seem to be incapable of pulling your punches. How come anything would not give my all? Sorry, you should be prepared. Yep, let's do it. An iron defense. Okay.
Whoa. I don't know what that was. No, hit him on the ground. Iron defense, my ass. <laughs> Ouch, knave, don't you ever learn? Someone needs anger management. Anyway, how's it my fault you failed to keep your guard up? What? Fie, fie and a pox upon you, just like a peasant, never taking responsibility. I could say the same thing about you, you know. Whatever. I think I get the hang of it. My snapping turtle. You're forgetting this is a lesson and that I am your master. Show me the reverence I deserve. Oh, I'm very grateful, oh great exalted master Ayanokoji. I detect some sarcasm there. You can show your true gratitude by returning the favor. That means doing something for me again. Understand? Or shall I spell it out for your tiny lower class brain? Yeah, yeah. Message received loud and clear. All right, let's talk. Let's talk about your life. Advice time. Let's talk about your life. Though I am loath to admit it, your advice has proven to be effective. It has. Sweet. Told you I knew what I was talking about. Do not forget yourself. You are a witless peasant now and forever. Oh well, fine. Be grateful, however. For among my fellow aristocrats, I alone am exceptionally skilled at listening to opinions of your kind. Hmm, I feel like I should be annoyed at that, but I guess I'm getting used to you. So, what's next? I think I need a little background info first. Okay, let me ask you this. I'm just asking this. Let me ask you this, Leo-kun. Is there anything you want to try? Isn't it a little late to be asking me that now? As a noble, I can do anything I want. After all, I have money, time, and power. Your peasant's perspective is far below mine, so I don't expect you to comprehend that. I must admit, however, that some things are better seen with one's face in the dirt, hence why I allow you to continue to be my vassal. Uh, wow. Sorry. It's been a while since you got rid of your makeup. How have things been? Well, my skin seems to shine with a luster heretofore absent from my complexion. Uh, no. I meant, how have the people around you reacted? How have they reacted? The same as ever. Wherefore do you ask? Losing the makeup was enough. It's going to be harder than I thought. Don't you want to try some new clothes? I already told you no. Do not make me repeat myself. What happened when you went to that hostess club? Did your hostess say anything? Quoth she... I have a look that is all my own. I took it as a compliment. Uh, no, she was just trying to be nice. You probably freaked her right the heck out. But, well, I suppose it's not impossible. You don't look too surprised. When first we met, it was as though her countenance was carved from stone. See? You totally freaked her out. Hmm. Perhaps it is beyond the abilities of the peasantry to fathom my sublime fashion sense. Yes, I think I just planted a seed of doubt about his clothes. We've already tried a bunch of things, so I think it's time to go big or go home. Go big or go home? I cannot fathom what's brewing within the mush of your brain, but I like not the sound of it. Based on what I've heard so far, I should... Ah... Uh... Don't you want to try some new clothes, Leo-kun? You are persistent, aren't you? Your clothing is what's holding you back. We won't get anywhere till you make some major fashion changes. I mean, who in the world would want to go on a date with someone dressed like you? Why, you insolent peon, how dare you speak to me like that? Seriously, Leo-kun, I'm telling you flat out that outfit has to go. Either it goes, or I go. What? Stop whining. Everything I've helped you achieve will be meaningless until you ditch that damn cosplay. Now follow me. Cosplay? Wait, Chinara. 
No more waiting. Go in there and buy yourself some real ass clothes. Hey, Leo Kun, you got any money? More than you could hope to lay eyes on in your mundane life. Great. I want you to go in this store and ask them to pick out a complete outfit for you. A complete outfit? But if I let someone else choose, how can I ensure they are giving me clothing that agrees with my noble complexion? Relax. Anything they choose couldn't possibly be worse than what you're wearing now. Now shut up and get in there. Very well. I... I suppose I'll give it a try. Thank you for shopping with us. And there he is, the nobleman himself. Dude, he looks pretty good. I don't know about this. What do you think? You look great, Leo-kun, especially considering what you were wearing before. I am unsure how to explain it, but I feel as though I am lacking something. Yeah, what you're lacking is the millennium-old funk clinging to that outfit of yours. Welcome to the modern world. So, Leo-kun, what do you think about your new look? I feel... Hmm, how do I put this? I feel rather patrician. Truly, this ensemble fits one of my high birth. Uh, not sure I got all that, but I can tell you I can tell you're happy. You look great. Ha! If I needed your opinion, I'll ask for it. You're one of the sloppiest dressers I know. Well, that's just rude. I like the way I dress. In any case, I never imagined I could look this good in normal clothes. I guess it pays to try new things. So I did good? This didn't have quite the impact as what you've done so far, but I suppose it still counts nonetheless. Yes! I'm on a roll, baby! Now, return when you're have when you prepared to train. The new, more stylish Aya no Koji will grind your face into the dirt like the commoner you are. Okay, I'll be back, but let's forget about grinding faces into dirt, alright? Yay! That one went pretty smoothly. How much more do I have to do? Oh, is this the last master? Wait, Tatsuya. Oh, I have one more Tatsuya. Oh, shit. I missed... Oh, wait, no. Akiyama's new dish is in Kamurocho, so I didn't miss that. He's almost done. Minamita. Hasn't shown up here in Kinaichi. Why? Yeah, I just have to remember to do Tats find Tatsuya's di new dish in Kamurocho, finish uh, Aya no Koji here, and then do more VR battles. But he's not even here. He's not even here in Kineicho. I said Kineichi. Kineicho. I think I've said Kineichi multiple times. Kineicho. It's a, it's a bit of a tough one for my brain. My brain no work very good. Kind of dumb. Gang members, why aren't you a fucking Victory Road qualifier? You asshole. Stop blocking! Fuck you. Oh, he got away. Lame. I'm gonna sneak down to the restaurants that are on the southwest corner of town and do a little bit more food since I'm still taking plenty of dam damage right now. Which is honestly nice. It's a nice change. Saijima... I wish that I would have taken more damage with him so I could have eaten more. Since he's got such a massive health bar, but I just, uh, he's too strong. Saijima's too good. Hello. 
Just say it. So many drinks. That's probably going to be about as close as I can get. So. Yeah, Sekai no Yamachan would have was the correct answer in that um, sub story with uh, Daddy Papa. Where did I just eat? Dharma? Yes. Twenty six. What the hell, game? Twenty six. What am I supposed to do with that? That's so many. Is Watami here, or was that in Sotenbury? I think that was Sotenbury. Yeah, I don't have a... Yep, okay. Alright, back to training. Getting close to being all caught up, though. Making progress, at least. I gotta do that last victory road qualifier for uh for Sheenada while we're here in town. Okay, so is it training now? It's training now. Not not life advice. Because he just changed clothes. Oops. Victory Road? Victory Road? God damn you. Stop blocking. My bike weapon skill is improved, punk. Bring it on. I'm just not lucky right now with the uh, Victory Road Qualifier opponents. They're just hiding from me. What? Why didn't I do my...
Damn, you sheen it up brutal. Oh my god, fuck this guy. So have you decided what you wish to learn this time? Bet I have, especially if it will save me from listening to your snarky remarks again. How about we, re how about we review what I've learned? Sometimes you need to go back to the basics, right? So let's go over the first lesson you gave me. Do you expect to be patted on the head like a dog learning a new trick? Would you please try to use that pea brain of yours? I will concede that reviewing what, you what I've taught you is a valuable exercise, but you hardly need me to do that. Go review my lessons on your own. A single second of my time is worth more than your entire life. No need to freak out like that. I'm just saying that reviewing is a big part of training, especially in sports. This is not a sport, and I am not your coach. This is a martial art, and I am your lord and master. Why does everything with you have to be such a hassle? Just help me review what I've learned. Is that so much to ask? How you vex me. Fine. I'll t use this chance to take out my frustrations upon you. That doesn't sound very master-like to me. Prepare yourself, peasant. This, this may be a lesson review, but only the gods know what I have in store for you. The gods actually care what you're thinking? How dare you! I demand satisfaction. Now prepare yourself. Okay, bud. Playing that game again, are we? No, it's Oh! I heard him from falling down. I win via fall. Cannot take this anymore. I feel unwell. I guess that makes sense. What was that pummeling you took? And whose fault is that, brute? Control yourself. Well, I'm glad we did that review. Got something out of it, too. Max Thrift Mastery. 
You did? Well, good, I suppose. What? You getting all pouty now? Seriously? Silence. You will never understand the feelings of a noble brutalized at the hands of his vassal. It must be exhausting having to complain all the time. Know your place, peasant, or I shall put you in it. There you go. That's the Leo Kun I know. Can't wait to see where this goes. Hmph. Quit your bitch and I'll beat you fair and square, kind of, even though you you lost your last twig of HP because I fell on top of you. Victory Road? God damn you. All right, let's see. Enthusiasm is worthless without ideas to accompany it. Listen, Leo Kun, I'm going to give it to you straight. There's only one thing to do this late in the game. Practice, practice, practice. Wait, really? You're as prepped as you'll ever be, buddy. It's time to hop out of the nest and spread your wings. Spread my wings? What crazy idea have you come up with this time? Oh, nothing so crazy. Just picking up a girl. Just picking up a... Listen here, you. Stop right there. I know exactly what you're going to say, Leo-kun. I want to meet a girl the right way, not by picking one up. That's so very boorish, or something like that. Um, yes, such vulgar behavior is for peasants. I would fain not begin any relationship under such pretense. Leo-kun, that's the only way you're going to get a relationship. What nonsense! You're already 35, right? That's 35 years without a girlfriend, Leo-kun. And your point is... You don't have time for a fairy tale romance, man. You've already waited your whole life. Are you just going to keep waiting until a girl falls into your lap? That's ridiculous. I haven't been waiting since the moment I was born. You know what I mean. Besides, you'll never meet anyone if you keep sitting on your ass. You have to fight. You have to take what you want. You feel me? I don't know. That sounds almost criminal to me. Are you trying to get me arrested? Listen, Leo Kun, this is like gambling. You can't win if you don't play. And now that we've got that settled, let's get out there and start and pick up some chicks. I don't know what chickens have to do with it, but very well. This poor man. So now what do I do? Uh, what do you mean? Well, I have agreed to try, so now you must instruct me. Or have you forgotten that this is not something that one of my station usually participates in? I should have seen that coming. Hmm. What's the best way to flirt with a girl? Flirt? Uh... A compliment goes a long way, I suppose. Girls love a good compliment. I mean, who doesn't? Perhaps, but just how does one initiate such an encounter? And what should I compliment? Try her appearance, her voice. Anything's fine as long as it makes her feel good about herself. Flattery is not my strong suit, but I shall endeavor to woo her nonetheless. Excuse me, fair maiden. Do you have a moment? Who, me? Fair maiden, how might I describe thee? Thou art as silk upon a spring afternoon, soft and radiant and refreshing. What? I witnessed thee shining from over yonder, and it was then that I knew mine entire life was but a dying flame next to thy blazing sun. I have laid eyes upon countless noble dames and damsels, but even their painted countenances cannot compare to the perfection of thy natural complexion. I don't understand. Oh, um, well, you see, my papa is the chairman of the neighborhood association, so we often attend parties of that noble nature. Chairman? Oh, so by noble you mean you're rich? Not everyone who attends is rich, but my family could certainly be considered wealthy. Did this work? 
Did that work? Behold! We have exchanged mobile phone numbers. Um, Leo-kun? You only landed her after you mentioned how rich you are. Really? Well, she did seem to warm up to me in the middle of the conversation for some reason. Welcome to the real world, Leo-kun. Still, I'd say this is progress. I mean, with the way you used to look, even your money wouldn't have gotten you so far. So all I have to do is send a text to her mobile number? Whoa, slow down there, cowboy. Take some time to think about what you're going to say. Ah, of course. But still, I am satisfied. I admit that you have served me well. Yeah, uh, I think you impressed her with your money, but that's about it. What did you just say? Uh, never mind. See you again soon. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Ah, yikes. All right, lesson five. Uh, let's see. I'm not a member of the unwashed masses. Uh, let's see. Give me another lesson. Yep, let's do it. What's he got this time? Oh, just a single hand Tanfa? Slightly different than before. Oh, maybe it's not. He's using the same move. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He knocked my ass down. God damn. Oh. Oh, he took all my buffs away. You know, I had to spend a lot of money and eat a lot of food to get those, sir. Oh my god, with the fucking Kamaki counter right now. Come on, dude. Bro, Jesus. Wait, where did he get health? Oh, wait, maybe I just didn't do that much damage to him yet. Holy fucking shit. He hurts a lot now. Oh my fucking god. I'm getting really sick and tired of getting hit by that. Oh my god. Really? You fucking tried to get me with it again, dude. Oh my god. God damn it! How did he fucking dodge so quick after that move? What? Alright, I'm learning. I'm learning how the game wants me to fucking deal with this guy. Attack him from behind. Oh, 
Holy shit. Never forget why that move is so busted in every game that it appears in. So busted. Shinada, how many times have I told you not to punch me as if it's a real fight? Wait, I thought you were going to control your temper. Silence, vassal. I have decided that I shall show you the full extent of my wrath. You sure gave up quick. Adelpate, ignoramus, I shall not suffer such disrespect. All right, all right. Please, forgive me my trespass, master. Hm. You better have learned something after all the torment you put me through. Of course I did. I'm not about to waste an opportunity like this, after all. My afterimage. Ooh. Very well, I will accept this. A true master can take a bruise or two if his student can learn from it. But no, tis not one or two. My whole body has become an enormous whale. You know, exaggerating like that isn't very master-like. You're no whale. If anything, all this exercise is helping you lose weight. That's not... That's not what whale... Never mind. Away from me, I say. Aw, oh, come on. Tis your turn to serve me, vassal. And it best be something exceptional this time. Got it? Yeah, it's the last one, so hopefully it will be. Hopefully we'll see a turnaround for this guy. He kicked the ever-loving shit out of me, though. Oh my god. Forced me to do quick steps? What are you trying to do to me, game? How dare you? You mean I can't just brute force punch my way through everything? A tragedy. And I can't eat here. That place is the one that I think I finished already. Yep. That one's done. So we gotta go somewhere else. Well, I think I will just take the taxi down to... Uh, one of these three places. Kinenicho. Let's check out... I don't remember what Kaburaya has. Let's go there. Excuse me. Sorry. Pardon me. Please, not a gang. Victory Road. God. Damn it. Oh, there's a lot of people that just showed up. That's a lot of enemies. Nah, I'm really hurt. But I need to get to this taxi, so that's what we're gonna do. Sneak my way on up here, everything is fine. Am I right next to the pawn shop? I am, right? Yeah. When I come back up here after I'm healthy, I need to stop in and sell some plates. Assuming we don't have to fight anybody on the way, we should be okay. 
Okay. I guess that didn't go the way I wanted it to. Literally just tried to round the corner and this motherfucker's waiting for me. Dude, some of the enemies in this game block so much. Jackasses. Oh, nice. Sweet potato shochu. And then as much food as I can fit in my belly. I maxed out my things. This is a nice, diverse, diverse restaurant. It's got all sorts of different uh, food buffs that you can get. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now we will go back. And sell stuff at the pawn shop. And do the last round of stuff with uh with leo Uh, why can't I sell all four? Oh, I guess maybe because the other ones are in my inventory or in my. I think I know why. They're probably going to show up in this list. Yep, there's the other two. All right, sell all that. It's a lot of money. That tripled my money. Still nowhere close to being able to pay off poor Shinoda's debt, but who's, ye who's yelling at me? Oh, is it that guy? He's definitely a gang person. Uh, so is this person. <sighs> Never lucky. Can't find another victory road qualifying fight to fight.
Yeah, no, I'm not going to waste my time with him. He's not what I want. All right, let's talk about... You're just a host. Let's talk about life one last time. All right, advice, advice time. Let's talk about your life. Nay, we must discuss what I must do with that maiden's mobile phone number. That's an easy one. Just text her. You simpleton, that part is apparent. I do not, however, know what to write. Why don't you start with asking her on a date? Can't go wrong with that. A date? Too late to get cold feet now, Leo-kun. You know what you have to do. Or are you going to chicken out? throw away a perfectly good opportunity, and in the process, end up wasting all the work I've done. Enough, enough. I shall text her. It would be a shame, truly, to waste your effort. Sarcasm aside, that's what I wanted to hear. Now, let's write that text. Such things are beyond me, so I'm trusting you, and I'm holding you accountable if anything goes wrong. Tell me what to text, and I shall say it. I'm no expert, but it'll be better than leaving it up to you, so here goes. Start with the subject. Um, yeah, let's not do the, let's not do that. Let's do this. Now for the first line. Let's keep it, let's keep it cool. Let's wrap this thing up. Last but not least, I'll be watching you. Oof. Oof. I enjoyed talking with you. I hope you didn't mind me approaching you. Words cannot describe how beautiful you are. So how about dinner sometime? What do you say? Sounds good. Are you certain this is a wise thing to do? We'll never know until she reads it. So hit that send button already, nobleman. Fine. Woman, I send to thee. Beep. Now we wait for her reply. She replied. What did she say? I'd love to go out to dinner with you. Yes! You scored big time! You are amazing, Shinoda. Finally, the recognition I deserve. Now, it is time for me to take flight and leave the proverbial nest. Right! It's not like I can go on your date with you. Now that that's settled, I must needs make preparations. We'll have to postpone your training for the nonce. No worries there. You just focus on your date, buddy. Oh, and be sure to let me know how it goes. Indeed. Let us meet at the usual place sometime hence. I'm pretty sure I can probably just go right back to him, can't I? Oh, nope, he's gone. He has vanished. But my last training. I was so close. I was so close. Why is he gonna do this to me, man? Uh, all right, well. I don't know if it's like, uh, I can, and I'm all buffed up and everything too. Oh man. All right, fine. We'll do, we'll do the main story mission that I'm on, I guess. And then we'll check and see if he's back when I return. Is there a save point like right here? Oh, it's on the corner. Excuse me. Sorry. Let's drop off this junk, and we can keep this, that, I was going to use it, but it ended up not mattering, because I got my ass kicked by that guy multiple times, so. No thanks. I'm just gonna go this way. Alright, good thing we definitely hurried off to the wharf, because boy or the to the storage room, because boy would it be a shame if we didn't. Yeah, let's do it.
Warehouse 62 up ahead. Milky Chan and her brother might be inside. Might be? Or dead? Can I go this way? Nope. This is a really long, scary hallway, sort of, that makes me think something's going to fall on poor Shinoda's head again. Or at least try to. Hello? Oh no. He does. He does have a head like steel. I agree. But my friend thought it was odd that he was closed for business. He's in with the Nagoya family, isn't he? Oh wait, are they all in on it? しげだ。品田を始末よ。中国に耳を傘かったあんたが悪いんだわ。牛島さん。危険な目に遭っとるぐらいの時に手を引いとってくれれば。こんなこと信じすんだのに。名古屋組の実態探っとったんだろう。これ
の町守るのに躊躇はいるんだ生命保険もかけてねえ人間勝手に殺すんじゃねえよ I was kind of expecting him to come to our rescue at that point. I like finding these enemies a lot more than the enemies on the street, man. They don't block. Oh shit, he got me. God damn it. Oh my god. No, don't run me over, you jackass. I don't know how to slow his ass down. Oh, I can jump over shit. Catches me every time, though. Damn, those must be heavy. If it's weapon fighting you want, I can oblige that. Oh. Are we, are we chasing him? I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, is this the direction he ran in? Oh, what's up, dudes? I feel like they just put the bats in this game as bait. Cruel bait.
Guy's dead. Hurts so much. Did you get this guy yet? You have a gun? Perfect. Wow. Bitch tactic, dude. And waiting in the shadows with goons in tow to attack us. Off he runs again. Oh, where'd the other guy go? He just despawned? Alright, great. What up, homies? Thank you guys. Oh, actually, you know what? I changed my mind. We don't need more katana practice. Let's... Let's do some crowd control.
Oh. Oh, I should have done this way earlier. I didn't realize it was going to do a fucking awesome move like that. For the AoE, for the AoE fun times. That was awesome. There, are we done here? Alright. Yep. I knew it was about that time. Supposed to have some shit get dropped on us. Is it 1v1 time finally? No. He still won't 1v1 me. Gotta bring all these fucking goons into it. The only downside of this heat move is that it's really long. It's very effective, but it is a very long animation. Swap to the sword for that reason. Oh, he knocked me down, so he falls down. Beaten and he runs again. This guy is a huge pain in my ass. Aw, oh, taser now. Now that's something I could use. That shit for later. Oh, they took it away. They took away my gun. Those monsters. Saved the taser. What up, motherfucker? Time to get tased. Stand up.
Had to beat him four times, but he's finally down. ま、<笑> どこ やっと利用されようが、たった一度だけの打席だろうが、お前はプロ野球選手だった。あのホームランに感動して、希望を持てた客だっているんだ、バカ野郎が。あの時の観客。<笑> 1年前、お前が金を借りに来た時、借用書の名前見て驚いたぜ。まさかこんなとこで再会するなんてよ。マスクの男に渡したのって。俺だ。あの男がお前探して俺のとこ来たんだ。なんだか知らねえが、お前に高い金で頼みたいことがあるって聞いてな。お前にその依頼を引き受けさせるために一役買ったってわけだ。だがま
言うことが違いますねそろそろゲームセットにしようまいか品だ Okay, here we go. Oh, he got me with that one. No, not my bonuses. Saved them just barely. Barely saved my bonuses. Tucker, <laughs> <laughs> ま、前も本当は俺に名古屋組の真相を知ってほしくてこんなやり方をしてるんじゃないですか教えてください一体誰なんですか
これで全て決着がついたとは思ってませんよ。代替わりしたと言っても、名古屋を守るのが私の宿命だということに変わりはありませんから。ええ、手は打ってあります。品田はちゃんとこちらで始末します。私流のやり方でねでは私だあ,あ例の特ダネの件なんだがそうだあのトレードの話だ無茶言ってるのは分かってるでもどうにかして勇敢に差し込めないか頼むこれには俺の野球人としての夢がかかってるんだ Feels like I slept for years. I have to report to that guy. Oh, yeah. Do you have any questions? I don't know. Wait. I'm going to talk to Ray's Prehab. I'm going to go to that place. Ah, yes, of course. Masked man. That guy. <laughs> Sure, it'll take a sweet time. Maybe I'll step out for a bit. Sure, we should do that. Absolutely. I agree. Because I bet that somebody is back from their date and I should, he I should eat to keep up my, uh, my strength here. Because I took a pounding at that, uh, at that encounter that we just did in the story. Very hurt. Not danger of death, but lower health than I would prefer to be. He is back. Good. And is that our last sub story? <gasps> it's the last sub story. Shinada will be done as well. Yay! That is very exciting. Uh. And we popped out like right next to. Since we were at home, I got some restaurants we can go to. Right nearby. It's great. Oh, the door's open here. I was right there. I'll take this. And hopefully I'll be able to. Oh, it's gonna be tight. Oh no, we're good. Only have three things left, so this place is done. Yay! These prize tickets are a racket. Okay. Oh, it's not done. I still have to have the two drinks that are in there. But I ate all the food. Drinks are always the hardest part. Like, that's half of these menus as well. Are there really only four restaurants in town? Besides First Shot, which is a bar. Aburaya, Dharma, Isakaya, Hanako, Kinencho. I don't, I didn't see that one in the list. The first shot, first shot, some of these might be, yeah, Cafe Elves, Kinencho. So some of these, so there's just the four unique restaurants.
Mother fucker. And he starts out by blocking all of my bullshit. This guy gets up and hits me like a couple more times. I might be able to go get those last couple drinks. Stand up. That should be enough. I got salt. What, what do I need salt for, game? Weapon mods. Weapon mods is the answer. Oh, I'm pretty drunk, but I think I can get one more in. Just barely. There we go. Now we're at max. Alright, great. Whoa, camera. Work with me, camera. Work with me. Oh, shit. Uh oh, better mosey on home with the spring in my step. Or go do this sub story, because they can't stop me. Should have dumped items off before I save, but it's the only torrenter I have. Weird. I'll save again now, really quick. <laughs> 